Oh yeah. You ready for some goodness? Outdoor Travel Channel with Robin Sherry, featuring RV travel, outdoor cooking, boating, and amazing road trips. Thanks for watching and let's begin. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm going to show you my mother's secret recipe for chocolate cake from scratch without using eggs. This cake is amazing. It's a wonderful chocolate cake. So I hope you enjoy it. I've never shared this recipe with anyone before. So uh, I lost my mother a long time ago. But this uh, particular uh, recipe uh, is easy to make. It's really good. You can enjoy it with or without frosting. I will be putting a frosting on it that is over the counter. I hope you enjoy it and let's go bake a cake. To start out, all you're gonna need is a large bowl and a cake pan. I'm just using over the counter frosting, which may have a little bit of dairy in it. Make sure you have a good measuring bowl because the first thing we're gonna start off with is three cups of flour. This will be the first thing we add to our mixing bowl. Next, we're going to add two cups of sugar and we're going to add that to the mixing bowl. Next, we're going to add Hershey Cocoa Goodness. You will be adding six tablespoons of this goodness to the mixing bowl. Now we will be adding two teaspoons of baking soda and adding it straight to the mix. All measurements are level teaspoons and tablespoons. Now just add one teaspoon of salt. I like to do this over my measuring cup to make sure I don't accidentally spill anything into the mix. Now here comes the amazing part. You would be adding 12 tablespoons of cooking oil. That's right, 12 tablespoons. It's also best to measure this vegetable oil over your measuring bowl to prevent spillage into the mixing bowl. Looking good so far. Now it's time for two tablespoons of vinegar. Now it's time to add two teaspoons of vanilla. We're getting there, almost done. Now let's just add two cups of water to the mix and I do it from our refrigerator because it's filtered and we live in Arizona. And now just add that to the mixing bowl. Now it's time to mix up all this goodness thoroughly and make sure you get all the clumps out and everything. So uh, uh, take your time on this and get it mixed really well. Anytime before all this, make sure you preheat your oven to 350. I'm just making sure right here that everything's mixed really well. Instead of using Crisco around my cake pan, I'm using grapeseed oil. Of course, the reason I'm doing this is to keep the cake from sticking to the pan. Now it's time to add the mix to the pan. And by the way, kids love this batter. I did as a kid. Make sure to try to get every drop or your kids will. Then once I'm finished, I put it on a flat surface and bounce it up and down to get the bubbles out. Now just place in the oven for 30 minutes. And there you go. Pull it on out. Let it cool down if you want to put frosting on it. Do it in a couple hours, you're set to go. Hey, thanks for watching our video. I hope you enjoy this special chocolate cake from my mother with no eggs. Our family has always loved it. Please take the time to subscribe and watch some of our previous videos. Have a great day, everyone.